Are you ready for this sickness? Let's get into it! <laughs> Dr. <laughs> McFarland, Tom Wardenkowski, the letter of every issue is on by me. Juan, he's going to be setting three issue 302 to get the zone again. The, 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 the most issued letter by a single individual on the same title. So I got mine for 301, he gets his for 302. Well, congratulations, guys. It's such a it's really cool to be at this point. Uh, it took 27 years, as you can see, Tom and I, we were both eight years old when we started. And now look at us, we're like old men now. Yeah, my hair is red back then. Yeah, that's right. Tom's been at this business for 27 years. I have been way longer than I was. Uh, and I've been at it now for over 30 years. So, it's, there's... The record that, that we, we got from Guinness uh, is based on 27 years. So it's not a one day, it's not a one week, it's not even one year. It's a 27 year, literally, in the lifetime to be able to get through the process. So I'm very proud of all the people that helped me along the way. It's not a one person job. But, as I mentioned in 302, the person who's done more sponsoring than anybody else on the planet. Like I, I slacked off and didn't write some of the issues to make some of that, but I've been fortunate to have There's many many subtitles. I can I can hold it and move closer. Yeah, they can't hear. Would you do that? Yes. Sorry. So uh when when I took Greg Pool when he was still a young pup. Oh, I had no there. idea that Great Capullo was going to be a good boy. So I believe that I'm a pretty good art scout. Yeah. And I thought he was going to go from okay to really good. I didn't think he was going to be a star. Like, I mean, like, yeah. I mean, nobody knows. I don't think there's any scout in any sport that ever goes, that kid's going to be a Hall of Famer, right? And we challenged him. Yeah. That's such a wide range of characters and situations. Mysticism, trashy alleyways, everything. He had to do all sorts of stuff that no one else would have asked him for. Well, my, well, and, but he grew. Oh, yeah, now, everybody doesn't did. grow with the great that everybody else does. And then now that he's just doing Batman with Scott Snyder, they're just blowing the wood off those guys. They're going to become, they're going to become, oh, Greg yeah. may actually go down in history as like, the guy who's the definitive, like, artist of more than one character. He's going to be the definitive Batman guy, maybe, to some fans, and the definitive Spawn guy. I mean, he is to me, he's the definitive Spawn card. Uh, he, he could actually own two man. Oh, it's interesting, too, though, because you look at Batman, like, from the end, too. Like, I gotta say, I mean, I've lived out here my whole life. I've been out here, I think, the whole time. How long has it been? 25 years, been in the Valor okay, here. I think it's going to all your things. Uh, you know, it reminds me of... Uh, Atomic Comics uh, in 2008, I was there, yeah. and I saw an interview, uh, with, I have a question, this is kind of one of the questions Do I want to ask you, is you were interviewed and they were asked, uh, what would you rather, if you had the chance, would you still do the baseball oh. thing? Now, see, now, I think this is a perfect time to re ask that question on this day. Yeah. Because, you know what I mean? Yeah, Here, the answer's still the same. I would, really? I, I would, stay, I would just want it back. Just want it back, back in a stadium with 50,000 people and I'm on enemy turf. I get it. Right? With two guys on base and the score is tied. And I'd be up there going, can I silence this crowd of 50,000? Not get them to cheer for me, but can I silence them? Right? And if I get a base hit right now, I'm going to break their heart. It would be cruel, but uh, so I didn't. So I just took all that competitive nature and just shifted and put it into my career and the businesses I started. So. Well, that was a good move. Sure. Well, in hindsight, nobody knew. I'd say so. Yeah, yeah nobody knew it at that time, right? So I, I don't know. A little bit of trivia: uh, people who buy through too, if they read it, they'll get it. The very first book I ever got paid for professionally, 1985, uh, Epic Comics. Coyote, Stephen yeah. Hart's Coyote. I, it, was a, it was a backup story called Slap mm -hmm. that was in there. And that was like my proud moment because like I'm a pro, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And if you look at that book, and that book's starting to get more expensive because people yes, are going yes. to the first McFarland. The person who lettered that book in 1985 no. 
No way. Right here. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, I was because, well, it was big because Tom was also lettering the X Men. Yeah. And the X Men to me at that point was like the best book in the marketplace. And 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 I thought that I was aware of, of what Claremont was writing and what Vernon Austin were drawing, but I was also aware of what Tom was doing artistically with the letters. So nobody told me we was going to letter the book. And I, like, I don't know if I've ever told you, Tom. That I, when I opened that up, I went, oh my god, my first reaction wasn't, you put my name in the light, thank you. It was, I got Tom Warner, Tom Steve the X-Men letter on the book, right? Keep going, keep going. It was, a big, it was a big deal, so I thought it was pretty fun. I thought it was pretty fun. And then years later, when I got to pick who I wanted to start the book with, then like, there was no second choice. I only had one choice. I had to go, I gotta get, I gotta get Tom. The X-Men guy, if I can get the X-Men guy, that'd be awesome. So been, Especially from that time period, too, Claremont and all that. And I think it's amazing that you guys are sharing this whole thing. You know, from the beginning to, from Spawn 1 till now, you've been on it the whole time. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. I think that's really cool that you guys can share that together. Um, I mean, of course, you know, you probably understand all that. Yeah. It, I, it's cool to have a partner in there. Just like this guy, he, you know, I have a YouTube channel, comics and stuff. Yeah. He's a movie critic. And, um, not to segue, but, and I don't know if you're even talking yeah, about Yeah, you, uh, you have any, uh, anything about the movie, about or is it Hush Hush? No, we're, look, no, no, no. We're, look, for two years I've been trying to say in Hollywood that I think that, that dark, R-rated, serious comic book material will work. Matter of fact, no, I think it will work. I think there's a hunger for it. Fast forward now, and three weeks ago, yeah. Joker comes out, uh, and uh, not only does it crush it, a, a couple days ago it just broke the record for the highest grossing R-rated movie in cinema history. Whoa. Not not comics, not sci-fi, not just R-rated period ever, forever. So now Hollywood is understanding what I've been saying, I knew was true, that all these people, I mean these people in line outside here, those are adults. They can get into R-rated movies, this is what I keep telling them. Yeah. And I go, half the people that go to the Avengers surely have to be adults. So it made three billion. So you could get half of them at the billion and a half. Like you don't have to say that R-rated movies are people won't go to. And and luckily the Joker is waking it's it up. Pretty, so pretty. so now all of a sudden the phones are ringing a lot more in the last oh, couple of weeks of going, hey Todd, you know that spawn thing? <laughs> you know maybe we should talk about that again. You know because maybe it's, maybe you, you can do an R-rated movie. Now I personally we reviewed the whole movie. I love the whole movie. Uh, you know, I understand. The, 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 yeah, no movie was way ahead, but again, it, it has fits and starts. There's moments that sure. are way better than others. There's some stuff that was literally unfinished, and they still put it in there, some of the special effects. Um, but but we're now 20, like, that was 22 years ago. Yeah. So anybody that was even born when that movie came out is now 22. They can go into an R-rated movie. Yeah, even, if you, yeah. even if you were born that day, you can go to an R-rated movie. And I think that my audience has been growing up with me. I mean, look how old Tom and I have gotten, right? So, <laughs> so our audience has gotten older. They can take something that's sophisticated and mature and adult. I agree. I agree. Well, I've, I've always loved those practical effects. And even still, I, I just watched the film the other day, and uh, Legazano's clown still looks so fantastic yeah. with all the practical effects. Greg Nicotero, uh, who created the original Spawn outfit, but then went on to Walking Dead fame, with, among dozens of other things he's done. Um, he and I created the new look for the movie already. It's already it's already done, uh, and and we're ready to do it in a practical way. I don't need a big so special effects budget. He he and I have figured out a way that we can do it in a crazy, almost insane looking way that it doesn't need a lot of special effects. And it will be in horror, right? Well, I, I would I would call it more of a, a supernatural thriller. Okay. Now, horror, horror to me sometimes means sort of a slasher. So to me, it's just you know something that's a little more tight, and then every now and then uh, there's a boogeyman. Is that a fantastic So anyway, you know, I don't want to keep you. A lot of people are waiting. I just wanted to see you see myself. Uh, I've out here for so long, and when, when I was younger, I mean, I'm 44. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> but. You know, your Spider-Man and your Batman and stuff. I was collecting comics here and there when I was young, but that great art is what brought me back to the And so, following, I followed you through this track myself. And it's been a pleasure, everything about it. Congratulations on everything. I'm really happy for both of you. 
And uh, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, sure. Thanks and for giving us the time. Okay. Best of luck to you guys. Best of luck to both of you, Tom. Thanks for joining me today. Yeah, I appreciate it. All right. And thank you so much. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to use any of these coupon codes, go ahead. It's all there for you to use and abuse. Please check out this sick video next. And again, please hit that like button, throw a comment down, and please subscribe. Love you guys. Stay sick. See you later.